Industrial Talk is brought to you by Palo Alto Networks. Now, Industrial Talk has a direct link to a new report about Palo Alto Networks Industrial OT Security. The new report analyzes improved ROI and reduced complexity. The Palo Alto Networks Industrial OT Security provides customers significant savings and benefits in the following way. Faster time to industrial OT protection, reduce operational complexity, and reduced risk to the organization. Find out more how Palo Alto Networks Industrial OT Security helps you better manage, secure, and protect your OT assets while providing safe access to the assets and services required to modernize your operations. Go out to paloaltonetworks.com, download your copy today, and begin lowering your risk and achieving your 351% ROI. <laughs> Welcome to the Industrial Talk Podcast with Scott McKenzie. Scott is a passionate industry professional dedicated to transferring cutting-edge, industry-focused innovations and trends while highlighting the men and women who keep the world moving. So put on your hard hat, grab your work boots, and let's go. All right, welcome to Industrial Talk. Thank you very much for joining the number one industrial-related podcast in the universe, backed up by data that celebrates industry professionals all around the world. Because you're bold, you're brave, you dare greatly, you are changing lives, and therefore you are changing the world each and every day. That's why we celebrate you on this particular podcast. As you can tell by the noise in the background, we are at accruent insights. A lot of people talking back there. I've been Amanda, who's going to be, who's in the hot seat. She's 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 ready to go, but she's been talking to a lot of customers, and then you know, solving problems, making them feel good. That's going to be great. All right. Let's get cracking. Amanda, in the hot seat, accruing company, maintenance connection. How are you doing? I am good. How are you? I'm well. Happy to be here. Are you? Are you yes. really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> want to make sure. Because you're doing it. See? It's going to be okay. It's going to be good. Yeah. Too funny. Yeah. So, for the listeners out there, give us a little background on who Amanda is. Okay, so my name is Amanda Ortiz. I've been in product training. Um, I was with Food Corporation, now I'm with Accruent. I um, have handled CMMSs and uh, yeah, just basically have um, built a lot of relationships with our reliability and maintenance customers throughout the years. I gotta tell you, uh, our conversations offline, listener, has been one around how she creates the scripts around maintenance connect connection excuse me not connect connection and um i i just think that that is such a in, in, invaluable skill just for training to be able to do that to be able to create something that is meaningful for the customer to be able to get the most out of their you know their product it's just pretty good how, what what made you get into it um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm very passionate about helping people be successful and getting the most out of their CMMS. I know that people invest a lot of money, time, energy into um, everything that they're doing and especially their software. So I just want people to get the best of what they're putting their money and time into. And it's free. Yeah. So um, the Accru Academy is free to all of our customers. It is included in their subscription. So, for example, for Maintenance Connection, we create these videos. We'll identify an issue or something that they need. And uh, I will create the script on how to do that. And then I'll send it over to a video editor. And then they will create a video and send it back to me. And we'll put it in the Accru Academy. In your conversations with the clients that are out here, do you make it known that they have this I do because a lot of our customers don't actually know that they have it available. Um, I don't know. We we send blogs. You know, we try to get on top of the way that we send the information to them. But I I think you know what I think it is. I think that um, a lot of the admins for CMMSs leave, and then new people come in, and not everybody is aware that they have this training available. How do you bridge that gap? 
You know what? Um, I mean, we have we've thought of like pop ups in the software that let people know right away when they log in to let them know that they have this training. Um, and again, the blogs that that I'm in charge of every quarter. So um, and and really just just letting them know our professional services let them know all the time so we are trying to keep on top of it but as a lot of people know um you know it's hard to keep everybody you know especially like after the pandemic and everything a lot of people have been leaving and coming and it's just hard to um keep the same employees all the time it would seem to me that this is an executive conversation because yeah you get this this churn that takes place all the time, and I get that. That, and it seems worse nowadays. Or yeah, whatever. I don't people get are it. retiring. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and the only real consistent point would be the the executive, and, right. and, 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 and say, hey, all right, we got a new person coming out here. You got to go through this training. Do you guys have sort of a like a I don't know a certification? When I like, hey, I I I accomplished all of these videos in this and therefore I'm a level one you know maintenance connection um, should you, know you? Uh, yeah <laughs> I don't I don't know if there's a maintenance connection one I think they have thought of it for other products but but yeah there might we might need to do that there you go <laughs> it's all to you <laughs> run with it yeah because right. it, that that's a motivation right but so how does somebody like you and your team keep up with all the changes that are happening? Because the conversations that I've been having with many of the people here at, at this event, mm -hmm. uh, change is it. Of course. Innovation is it. And it's happening and it's happening in whatever real time. Right. So how do you how do you maintain that level of and how do you deal I got another one. How do you deal with something that's just not pertinent anymore it's it's yesterday's you know constantly updating um we have professional services who are constantly on the phone with our customers doing implementations and um just helping them be su as successful as possible speaking with them daily so that information we're constantly in meetings just trying to talk about what are what are people asking for what type of videos do they want what are you know some of the challenges that they're facing in the system where we can create short videos or maybe it's taking too long for an hour video maybe they want a three minute video on something just very quick so we have started to make videos we call them shorts and it's basically three minute videos how do you create a work order how do you close a work order how do you run a report you know stuff like that all so. based on on best practice correct and wow how do you learn about it um, I'm learning every day. So whether it's uh, speaking to professional services or keeping in touch with support or um, just watching videos that were there before but updating the information that's changed with the updates to the software. I'm fairly new, so I've only been there about six months, but I'm learning every single day just like, you know, anything else. So, What excites you about your role? It is. What, 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 what's going on? being a part of people's success and also hearing all the growth. And of course, being here and meeting the customers and hearing how they're using the software and how there's so much that they haven't discovered in the software. So that makes me excited to help them discover those features and make their job easier. I am all about helping other people make their job a lot easier. How do, how do, they, how do, <laughs> how do they not know about what, what, what exists in it? I don't know. Um, I, I guess it's, it's just not, not being delivered just... right away. Like when people start, I, I well, I mean, if you think of the maintenance world, people are so busy. They're doing so many things. So the number one priority sometimes isn't learning the CMMS or getting in there right away and learning all of the capabilities. Um, sometimes it's like, hey, enter this work order or you're doing a hundred other things and you're putting out fires all day. Your walkie talkie is going off. You're running all over the place. So at the end of the day, they're like, hey, just put in, you know, the basics for this work order but they don't know what they can keep track of they don't know that they can you know predict future failures or put in their pms or their parts of their labor whatever it is a lot of times people are just putting in the basics and not really learning as the time goes on because they become so busy do you ever approach the subject of there's there's the the use of the system which you you're you're constantly building your library of videos that's i get it that's cool stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's needed but then there's a lot of work up front, like, hey, you got a legacy system. This is these are sort of the practice. These are 
general implementation type of approach. Do you guys mm -hmm. take into the, that consideration and do some some that free stuff? Yeah, well, we don't in my department, but professional services handles that. So they do all of that oh. pre stuff. And then they keep in touch with the customer. And um, my department is basically just, uh, not just because it's very important, but we're doing more of the videos and um, academy, just keeping it going, trying to stay on top of things so that all of that material is available. Just in case, you know, there are people who don't want to call support or speak to professional services every day, but they want to watch videos and we want to make sure that that content is up to date and available for them. Do you also provide a written sort of transcript of those videos? Like, um, like I had this conversation one time. Now, there's maybe out of a thousand people, there's that half a person that wants to read about it. Yeah, there's documentation. No, so I can I can watch the video, download the documentation. Well, the documentation is going to be a little bit different, um, but we do have documentation on all of those subjects. It's not the exact video script, yeah. Um, but but we do have you know like standard work that they can go by and follow um, instead of watching the videos. Okay. See, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> You're doing great stuff. I find it interesting. Yeah, I love no, it. No, I, I think it's it, I think it's incredible because I think that that real success comes around through education and you have to be committed to it and and given the the changes in, in the dynamic marketplace where things are changing dramatically at a rapid pace i mean the only thing that i i can just sort of hang my hat on is is education right. and keeping current and keeping keeping that alive you now kudos to you and your team where do you see Thank it going you very much. Like, what do you, what do you, oh like, goodness I mean, there's so much growth um, so we have a few different softwares and some of them are integrating with each other and you know like uh, I speak to my coworkers we all handle our own product so I'm specifically maintenance connection um, but there may be you know someone next to me who does another crew and product and since they're now making integrations I could say hey me and you should make a video together maybe we should talk about this integration so there's so much that goes on um, I mean there's I have a million different topics that I could think of just, you know, tomorrow. And it takes me a little while, but um, there, there's so much, many more videos, so much more growth, and just so much more fun that our team wants to have with, with all of these different products. Are you having a good conference? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love sitting with the customers, hearing different things that they're facing, but also um, just meeting the industry leaders and um, reliability leaders, like getting a chance to meet these different people, you, Nancy, Ramesh, you know, all these people. I'm like, no, I haven't met you all in person yet. In the same sentence with those. What? They're oh, great, my goodness. Man. You're they're awesome. They're phenomenal, man. They're absolutely. So, how do I get a hold of you? Um, I am. Do you need my email or like what is it? Sure, it is. Um, oh well, you can find me on LinkedIn, yeah, so I'm always so on LinkedIn. Always LinkedIn. Amanda yeah, Ortiz. We'll that that, that's what yeah. I'll do because I might have a bunch of questions in my email. But um, Amanda Ortiz on LinkedIn under uh, Accruent, and you will see me up there training and development professional. Right. Amanda's her name. Thank Your call you. to action is to connect with her because that is absolutely imperative. Find out more. She's she's got a lot of energy. <laughs> You are wonderful. See? Hey, Painless, huh? you too. I appreciate it. It was all right. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Slappy slapperton right here across my face. All right. I'm We're going to wrap kidding. it up. I'm going to have all the contact information for Amanda out on Industrial Talk. Thank you very much for joining. We will be right back. You're listening to the Industrial Talk Podcast Network. How about that for stepping out of your comfort zone? There it is, Amanda Ortiz, a trooper on Industrial Talk. We were at Accruent Insights. She is with Accruent, and I got to tell you, it's exciting to see that training, that development, that focus to, to ensure success. You've got the technology. It all hinges on your ability to be able to leverage the power of that technology, and that's education. That's what she's doing. That's what Amanda Ortiz is doing at Accruent. All right, Industrial Talk. Speaking of education, Industrial Talk. We have the Academy. It's all out there. It's all the marketing stuff that I do. It's all the leadership stuff that I try to do. It's, it's all out there in an educational platform that's warm and fuzzy and uh, enjoyable, hopefully. So go out to Industrial Talk, 
Find out more about that Industrial Academy. Be bold, be brave, dare greatly. Hang out with Amanda. Change the world. We're going to have another great conversation shortly, so stay tuned.